Hello friends and welcome back to a new episode of Beating Grandmasters with Stupid Stuff. Today we are repeating a very old challenge, also known as the pretending to be AFK challenge. And we're starting here on, um, what's this map even called? Rod Husset Station against a Zerg player called Demi. Now, uh, Demi is a similar MMR as I am. I have decided to play this on a barcode. I usually do all of my challenges on my main account, but because this is a challenge that it would probably be very difficult if I were to play on my main account because people might remember that I've done it before. I've decided to play it here on a little barcode. Um, I'm about 5.5k MMR with my Terran. And I'm uh, opening up with a CC first over here on the top side of the map. I keep 12 workers in my main base. And that is just pretty much going to be it. 12 workers in my main. I think I probably want another expansion here pretty soon as well. Gonna start with the barracks just at the, well, m practically my new main base. We have decent mining over here going down as well. Up, oh, there we go. And now the question really is going to be, how do I want to follow that? I, th I think I'm just gonna double expand actually. I think that is the, the, the best way that I could possibly do this. Oh, maybe I should have expanded on the other side of the map. Wait, did I type good luck have fun? No, I didn't. Good. I, I, before I've played this challenge, um, and then I would type good luck have fun at the start of the game, for, kind of forgetting, you know? The, it's, I'm just too mannered for it. Happens to the best. It truly really happens to the best. Um, I also got to make sure that I don't accidentally start building workers over here. That would obviously be a pretty serious mistake. And I'm curious to see what my opponent here is going to be doing. I'm actually considering taking a gas here pretty quickly. Because, I mean, I'm going to need a gas at some point. Might as well do it ASAP. Maybe if I should get a double gas here. Start my one marine as well. And uh, we have triple CC, technically. This is basically a triple CC opener, just with worse eco, because I haven't been producing enough workers from my main. Maybe I should have built a depot over here a bit quicker. I could have changed the build a bit. I mean, these are all little improvements that we can make in the future, of course, as uh, my first marine pops out right now. My opponent hasn't scouted me yet, which is kind of sad and kind of hilarious at the same time, but like, he's, <laughs> he's just not here, I guess. Um, yeah, I, I don't quite know what to tell you about this. Maybe he's actually AFK. How sick would that be? <laughs> if I'm pretending to be AFK, <laughs> he's actually not here. <laughs> this would be such a good game to start with. God, I would love that. The chance is very small, but there is a chance. He just hasn't scouted me yet. Overlord must have seen the lack of a natural at this point. Um, but hasn't actually entered my main. Okay, here comes a Ling. He's going to start working on my crap right away. Uh-oh. Okay, and uh, it's absolutely key here that I, uh, you know, that I don't accidentally move a unit or anything of the sort. It is, it is absolutely key. We hope that he kind of stops playing as well. I mean, that's the that's the entire point, right? If he uh, doesn't, what you call it, if he doesn't stop playing now, it's just going to be very hard. Because I'm losing 12 workers for free. I've delayed my eco by an insane amount here. Like, these things, they, they don't come free. And uh, I wonder how I should play it. I think I'm going to lift this orbital command just before it starts burning. So at least I keep the base alive. I'm not sure if this is the optimal solution here to my problem. I, I could be wrong. Of course, I could be wrong. I'm uh, just going to get another barracks as well. We're going to play a 3 racks follow-up here. And I probably should have started a wall in this general area now that I think about it. Okay. Maybe I should just let the base die. Nah, I, th I think that's a waste. Like, I think lifting it... Oh my god. Maybe I should let it die. Maybe I should let it die. Keeping him busy a little bit. Just keeping him busy a little bit. <laughs> okay, come on. Come on, Kevin. We got it, buddy. We got it, buddy. We absolutely have it over here. I, I, I think he believes. I think he believes. In life after love. Do you still believe in life after love? Love after life. Love after love. Um, um, I mean, I think I'm going to go for a run by with like five, five, six Hellions or so. I, I think that would actually be sick. I mean, it would be a sick way to start dealing some serious damage, you know, and I can defend against everything else. So we'll go up to five Hellions. He's probably going to be playing Muta or Corruptor. We could also let him wait until he gets those Muta Corruptor units out. And then we just push. 
And then we just push. <laughs> gotcha, buddy. I gotcha now. Gotcha now, little chief. Hoppa. Okay, you're just gonna turn into this thing. Um, here come his links, I guess. Ash. <sighs> okay, he's gonna lose these at least. He's gonna lose these, and I want a one of these as well. Little starport over here. This is turning into an orbital. I hope he forgot about that base altogether. Don't think he has though. And he's going towards the bottom side here. You can feel that. Oh, we're actually dealing quite some damage. We're dealing quite some damage indeed. I'm uh, gonna get a depot out here as well. Oopsie daisies. <laughs> God, such a prick. <laughs> and this is... I mean, if this guy stabs me at some point in my life, I think it's well deserved. And the, the shank would be... Yeah, it, it, it would be well deserved. Wouldn't be capable of complaining about that, that's for sure. Would not be capable of complaining about that. Ah! Okay, you're gonna keep some of them alive, I guess. Okay, you're gonna start moving forward as well. Um, I have the weirdest hotkeys right now as well, I have to admit, just have to admit it. Okay, here he comes. Here comes the sun, Ta -da -da -da. here comes the sun, I say, it's alright. So we have our first two medivacs on the way right now, I wonder if he has banelings yet. Oh, he's definitely building them. Um, I don't actually know what my position is like. Like, am I am I winning? Am I really far behind? I legit just have no clue at all. Um, I don't want to continue just rallying workers towards a base that's already fully saturated, but I'm also just gonna need some workers. Okay, we'll get a. Oh, we got yes, these guys, of course. Okay, that means we're just going to uh, push in right now with everything we have, and we we hope for the best. We hope for the best over here. I mean, it could work. It most likely won't, but it could. Technically, it's possible. The, and technical wins are the best ones you can have, of course. Don't forget about that. He's just building more and more workers. I don't think he actually bought, <laughs> bought this crap at all. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, this is a bit of it. I mean, we can definitely a bit of it. I don't think it's quite enough. Uh, SCV is arriving, but... Um, <laughs> I feel like we had a, we, we almost had a future here. We almost had. I, 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 I've got some, I've got some clues as to how to play. I think faster barracks. I need to hide my depot better. I can get more workers out initially. That's going to be. I actually want to take a look at how he played in the early game here. Maybe I shouldn't have flown away. <coughs> he was just building drones. He's just building drones. Maybe he should follow it up with a three racks even. Like he's going because. The, the thing is, they go quickly into Muras, right? Because they want to kill your CC. And this is really the, the perfect place. Like, oh, lol, can't believe this. Man, that's so dumb. Uh, blah, blah. You know, there's something you say. And then, boom, you hit him with a quick three racks. And maybe you could just have a hit at, like, the six-minute mark while he's sending links across the map, tacking up, like, 70 drones or something. Like, he's playing so, so unsafe right now. It's actually ridiculous. Like, he's playing as a one, but like, he just wants Muras out ASAP, basically. That's the plan. And then if I hit at this point with the three racks, which I think I could, like, 20 Marines, I could have taken him. But I didn't quite. Okay, we're going to try again. No worries. All right, up next we have for Jumi, a Protoss player. Now, Protoss tends to scout a little bit earlier, which actually is quite nice, I think. I'm not entirely sure if it is nice or if it isn't. I think it is quite nice. Oh, now I'm going to do something here a little bit different. I decided, you know, I could be playing these 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 little macro games, you know, and proxy one of my uh, command centers. But I could also just proxy my first depot and then pray that my opponent is incapable of scouting. So that's what we're going to be doing this time around. So I'm just proxying all of my barracks, but I'm too afraid to start another pro an, another SEV here. Um, <laughs> Because he could scout at any point. So I only have 11 workers while you start with 12. If my opponent scouts, that would suck. However, if my opponent doesn't scout, that would also suck. Because this build is garbage. Okay. Well, here he goes. Let's see. I know Forjumi watches some of my videos. So he's going to be familiar with the pretending to be AFK. I don't think he actually checked. 
Ah, he should start he should start attacking my workers. That would be the best case scenario for me. Because once he starts attacking my workers, he then he gets a sense of security. Yeah, yeah, this is really good for me. Because right now he's like, ah, oh, okay, this is cool. This is real cool. Uh, he's probably building a zealot to send it across the map. Um, I, I think that's probably the, the, the best thing you can do. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> he's gonna get a zealot. He might get another unit behind it. Now, I wanted to build another uh, another depot here, but then I realized, well, this probe is actually gonna make it, so I don't need another, you know, I don't need another SCV, or I don't need another depot, because it's gonna kill my SCVs as I'm building more marines, which basically just means for me that I I'm gonna be capable of building marines forever. Like, I'm never gonna be maxed again. By the time my depot would be finished, I'm back down to whatever 18, 18 supply or so, or I don't have enough money anymore to continue building stuff anyway. So either way, I think this is going to be pretty good. You need to remain hidden, buddy. Don't come to my side of the map yet. Don't quite come to my side of the map, please. So this is going to be the amount of units. I think the maximum amount of units that we're simply going to have. So we start moving across the map. Okay, here's the zealot. Exactly. This, isn't this exactly what I said? He's going to send the zealot across the map. He's probably going to come with a stalker as well. And I think he won't have anything. So uh, let, let's hope this works. Let's hope this works. Okay, adapt. <laughs> He's going to have nothing. <laughs> He's not going to have warp gate quite yet. I wonder if he has a nexus or not. Okay. Just going to attack this thing. <laughs> okay, now he realizes. Now he realizes. Now he realizes. <laughs> okay. So he has one pile and I'm just going to attack that. I want to make sure that I don't get surrounded. He needs to recall his crap. He can't do that quite yet. Can I... Okay, here comes the super battery. Killing all of these workers. I'm just gonna lift this thing and move it towards the side. Okay, all of these go down. I want this thing to die as well. I don't want any stalkers to stay alive. Okay, I can take out this pylon. <clears throat> Which is good. good. Okay, he recalled back home. Um, I think I might even have more workers than my opponent right now. Although I'm not sure about that. I have one... Okay, I have one worker. Maybe I could... Start mining again. I can kill this for sure. He could technically kite me forever here, couldn't he? I'm not sure if he could kite forever. But he could get pretty close to kiting forever. Um, he's probably getting stuff in the main base, I just realized. Like another pylon over here or something like that. Yeah, he's trying his absolute best here. Oh my god. This is so rough for me. Okay, he's trying to get more money, which so far hasn't really been working out for him. <laughs> <laughs> All right, nah, that, was a, that, was a, that was a cheap win, though. I also want to win in a macro game. We're not just, go we're not just gonna win with little cheeses, but this felt really good. Exactly how I thought it was gonna go. Send the zealot, send the adept across the map. He even built the safety battery because in the back of his head somewhere, it was like, ah, oh, didn't I once watch uh, pretending to be a AFK by Harstem? Which, by the way, the, the second one I ever uploaded was. Uh, I, I think 15 April or so of 2020. So a little over two, well, little, three and a half years ago now. Um, nice. Ah, oh, I don't think I've ever, whenever I did these pretending to be AFK challenges, I don't think I've ever done like an aggressive build like this, uh, like proxy gate or I always went for macro. So this feels really good. You know, a little bit of a twist on it, uh, but I also want to win with a macro game. I at least want to try to win with a macro game another time. <laughs> so I wanted to proxy my first base over here, but this guy, <laughs> he's, he's proxy gating me. Oh my God. You can't make this stuff up. I feel so bad. I was busy. I was in the middle of changing my settings. Oh my God. This is so unlucky for him. Um, <laughs> you know what I was thinking as well? Okay, I was like, All right, let me play a game with Zerk. I see if I can do something there. I was thinking I could mine one of these mineral patches, but I think he'll figure that out. Like he'll see it, you know? So it's not a good plan. That's what I thought. That's what I was thinking. I'll just move to the top side. He's never going to scout there. If you're going to scout anything, you'll scout the mineral patches, then realize I'm AFK. You know, th that is exactly what's going to happen. Or at least that's what I thought was going to happen. Oh my God. I can't believe how unlucky. I'm not even sure how unlucky he is because I still went for my hatchery over here, which is obviously not the brightest thing I could have done. Um, but I also have a 14 pool, so this <laughs> should technically be fine for me. I, th I think this is okay. I'll get a gas, I guess. Eh. Um, 
uh, yeah, one of these. I don't think he saw my first drone go here. So he should be fairly confused right now as to what actually is kicking up. Wait, why am I building a gas here? I'm <laughs> just going to build a gas in this location. If I want a freaking gas, it's going to be at the Rich Vespine Geyser, surely. Um, our links are out. I'm real proper confused right now as to what is kicking off. I think I am winning, but it depends a bit what he did over here. It depends a bit. Okay, it's just a single pylon. Just a single pylon. And he's probably one basing right now behind all of this. Uh, this is a... <laughs> This is a fill for the challenge, but this is so freaking funny to me. I'm going to put it in the video anyway. I cannot... Like, no one proxies a pylon in ZVP. That's just not a build order. I also started without the good luck, good luck, which makes me feel like a bit of a prick. It, it really does. But at the same time, it's like, well, you know, it's... Being a bit of a prick is fine uh, when you're when you're playing this time. So, uh, yeah, you have to. You're forced into it. You know, I can't help myself, guys. Uh, I have no Overlord spread because I decided to keep my first <laughs> Overlord at home because I was, well, obviously pretending to be an idiot. Um, or pretending to be AFK, not pretending to be an idiot. Um, okay, let's hop here. Take the... This is this is the ultimate... Uh, this is ultimate richness, by the way. I'm going for, for the gold minerals here. And I'm going for the rich Vespine guys on this side of the map. I can't believe that this is what this game is coming to right now. This is so stupid and I love every second. I'm just going to get... Oh, it's going to get speed because I think I need to. Um, he's going to try and kill me here. I think I might just uh, try and get a setup here in the... No, no, I'm not going to try and get a setup at all. No, this that's <laughs> simply not working here for me at all. I have a, a, a lot of uh, larva just kind of sitting here doing absolutely nothing, by the way, which is sad. Uh, it's very sad. There's nothing uh, nothing that's going to change about that. Okay, I have a bunch of links out. He's going to get in towards my main base. Probably going to let this finish. He didn't let that finish. Okay, I'm not attacking, so he doesn't get the warning. Ah, I attacked him too soon. So he did get the warning there in the end. We are getting a surround though on both of them. I wonder if I can get a... Ugh. I, if I would have properly kept the surround there, I think I would have been capable of getting a kill, but I didn't properly get the surround. Uh, we're just going to chase this thing, I think. He should micro it away and put the other uh, the healthy adept in front, obviously. He didn't quite do that. Um, we're going to have a serious transfer of power towards the gold right now. As we're building more of these, I'm not even quite sure if I'm winning. I've, I'm, I've been playing so poor behind all of this. That's actually fairly possible that I'm losing this game. So he's scouting, sees the complete lack of stuff over here. Okay, well, that's at least gonna die. Um, he has something here. So what do I want to do here? Do I, do I just get a couple of roaches? Hope that he forgot that a Stargate is a possibility. He did not forget that Stargate is a possibility. Yeah. He did absolutely not forget about Stargate being a possibility. So uh, this feels very bad for me, honestly. I'm building some roaches, which makes even less sense given the, the, the shape that we're in right now. Um, let's go into Hydra, I guess. Let's just go into Hydra. Let's just do that, huh? I think that's a good call. I, I get it, just getting a couple of Hydras here, I think is actually fairly smart. Um, he's trying to target down as many drones as he can. I'm trying to keep as many drones as I can alive. Taking out these rocks is definitely going to help. This is such a dumb game. I'm loving every second of it. Um, so he has that Stargate, is it? I think it's an Oracle behind this, surely. Let's see if I can get this. Yep, I definitely can. Okay, this is really not the end of the world. I mean, it wasn't great for me, but... It also wasn't so bad. I have a lot of gas in the bank, so we're going to play a one gas... I think a one gas hydral in behind all of this. It seems to me like the most logical option. Uh, if there even is a logical option here in, in, in this particular scenario, I don't think that's quite the case. <clears throat> God, I freaking love this game so much sometimes. Oh, little buddy. Don't think that's quite what you wanted to do, is it now, matey? Okay, I'll get a hydra then. Uh, you got one of these over here as well. Here we have good eco, 48 workers. He's once again showing up with a bun bunch of uh, adapts. Just gonna continue spreading creep as well. Why do I have a, a couple of AFK dudes over here? They're building a new void ray as well as a twilight council. That twilight is pretty late though, isn't it? Twilight, I don't think he's aware at all of this base. I freaking love the way the rich Vespine guy, the rich Vespine gas looks, by the way. Like, it looks so, it looks so properly toxic. And it is a very toxic game mechanic as well. So it perfectly encapsulates in its graphics how I feel about it as a Protoss player. 
However, when I'm a Zerg, oh boy, do I love the rich Vespin guys. <laughs> Such a fun mechanic. Oh, I didn't even uh, properly have this in a hotkey quite yet. This is legitimately one of the silliest games. I can't believe he ruined my challenge, and I can't believe we got this game out of it. Two things I can't believe. Okay, well, we're just building a bunch of... The funny thing is that he is still unaware of my top left side base. So he just... <laughs> <laughs> he just doesn't know what's He's like, man, my opponent has a really crappy eco. Sure, he has a gold, but that's not quite going to cut it. Right now, he's like seeing these hydras, like, oh, hydras? Off of two bases? I mean, that's just absolutely non viable, right, guys? Guys? I mean, off two bases, it, it would be relatively non viable, but this is a lot of things. It ain't two base hydra, it's two and a half base hydra, actually. And with a gold and a rich Vespin geyser. That does sound pretty freaking viable to me. So just gonna get a couple more gas as well in case we need to transition into lurkers or something. This has been a very silly game. But I love it. I absolutely love it. Okay. It's not so many units, is it? Pop that thing wide open. I definitely can. I mean, I'm just I'm just shooting here with mass hydra. I'm just shooting at you with mass hydra, buddy. What are you gonna do about that, huh? Don't really wanna fight into the cannon. Just fight a little bit into the cannon there. And now we're gonna be forced into fighting into the cannon. Hey, this is a free win. Yep, there we go. Absolutely beautiful. I wonder if he's gonna GG here. If I were him, I wouldn't GG. No, I would. Oh, no, I'm kidding. I always GG. Yeah, he's thinking about it. He probably thinks I'm hacking. Because that was an insane drone scout, you know? It's like, in what world does this make any sense? It really doesn't. So he's like, right now he's going over the options in his head. like, hmm, is he hacking? Is he an idiot? Is he a bit of both? Is he a hacking idiot? Is he an idiot who hacks or a hacker who's an idiot? Perhaps a clown? Does he work full time in the circus? Like, he has a lot of questions right now. And uh, he also still believes I'm on two base, of course. That's why he's, I was wondering why he's staying in, actually. But now I realize he hasn't seen my third yet. Or my fourth. Which, um... I did. This is practically a macro game at this point for me. The camera hotkeys are very weird. So my second base is here, my third here, and my fourth is in my natural. So I'm, <laughs> I keep forgetting where to press if I want to go to a certain base to do things. I think I, I have the rhythm down. There's the M. I get a couple more of these hydras out as well. I mean, we don't really need to attack into this. Um, so I guess we're not going to. I just rush into hive, get vipers out or something. Hey, once we get Vipers, we're just gonna break in. Easy peasy. Lemon squeeze. We also got an Evo Chamber, actually. Probably should have done a bit earlier. Maybe I should check if he doesn't have, like, a hidden base or something. That would be hilarious if both of us have a hidden base. And here I'm like, rah, 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 this game is over. Rah, 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 I'm so genius. Rah, 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 rah. And then in reality, it's not the case at all. That would make me very happy, too. Um, I have all these upgrades here. Um, I am going to need... What was it called again? Right, the Evo Chamber upgrades. Oh, he's, he's trying to go for a scout. But I'm not gonna let you scout the body. Like, wait, does he have Tempest? No, there's cannon shots. Cannon shots and Tempest shots look very similar if you're not paying attention. Trust me on that. <clears throat> yep. Okay, he doesn't have any of the top side bases. I'm practically maxed as well, so my situation is not gonna get much better. At the same time, his situation is not gonna get much worse. So, perfect time for both of us to attack. He thinks this is a good timing to fight. I also think it's a good timing to fight. But I know I'm right. And he thinks he might be right. He's gonna take his ball as well. He's got the five bases. I mean, why not? We're at it anyway. We're here at it anyway. Might as well. Hi, lads. Um, just gonna... I mean, this base is running out, so it's actually perfect timing. Just as one gold runs out. Harston starts expanding to the next. An evolutionary tale. Oh. He has one upgrade. Hey, this is insane. I feel like at this point, I've suggested this before. I'll make this suggestion once more. I feel like there should be a button in StarCraft 2 where I could review everything I have to my opponent. Not as a way to bad manner, although it could also be used to bad manner people, but just to show them, like, hey, the game is over. You're officially allowed to leave, you know? Because I feel like if you would see everything I have right now, we would not be sitting here, me dancing with 100 supply of Hydra. And I kind of want to commit. And I probably should just... Oh, yeah, I'm just going to commit, actually. But he's, he's sitting behind cannons, and Hydras are really bad into cannons, especially if you don't have any base. It just feels really silly. Okay, well, we're just gonna move back. We lost 20 supply, killed one stalker, and forced a super battery. It's a, a good fight, if you ask me. 
a fair engagement indeed. Uh, I'll take out these cannons now. Okay, I should have used micro a little bit earlier, I guess. Really, that was the, the answer to all of my troubles. This might, I mean, this is... It's getting a little bit ridiculous now. There's no way this guy GG's. I freaking love Bob's, but there's no way he GG's after staying in for five minutes too long. That is simply impossible. Right, guys. <sighs> that ain't it, Chief. It ain't it. Like. I just don't understand it. I'm waiting for the the big G though. I could have cut all of this out, but it builds excitement as well. It? it really does. Oh, now she's a five because I can't be finished very early. I'm I'm not gonna I'm, I'm not gonna abduct individual star like Wow. That had to come from, come from very far, that GG. You know it. That came from very, very far. We're gonna try again. We'll wait a little bit so we don't get the exact same opponent here. Don't wanna play bumps twice in a row. Um, and we're gonna continue pretending to be AFK in the next game again. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. <clears throat> We've got <laughs> four Jumis off rays. There is no way. Right, guys. <laughs> There's there is no way that this is going to work twice in a row. It is it is simply impossible. I'm also not sure why I'm moving out here with another drone. That also makes legitimately no sense. I'll just cancel this. Actually, I'll just cancel that. It, made, it, it actually made no sense. Um, <laughs> I don't know how this is gonna work. I don't know why I moved out with two drones. I guess I have an extra one for safety. They also scout so freaking late. Uh, there, there's ah uh, no 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 no. This is just it's it's simply not gonna work. I am going to need an overlord over here, so I'm just gonna build it right now. Maybe I should have waited a bit longer actually. Um, my plan is to build a hatchery and then cancel it and build a spawning pool. Uh, I I hope that is going to end up working here. We're losing a lot of mining time. We're losing a lot of cash, uh, and unless unless Jumi completely ruins it here. And there should be legitimately no way that we win this. Like legit no way. Um yeah, I, I just don't I just don't think it's gonna be possible. I just don't think it's gonna be possible. We'll try our best then. Up, oh, got a little spawning pool over here. Lovely to see. What's the chance that he's scouting me right now? Ah, it's pretty high actually. <clears throat> what is the chance that he scouts my main? And then once again just sends the first Reaper. And an SCV across the right. Okay, it's legit impossible. I don't actually think it's viable. This is legit not viable. Um, okay, let's go. We'll try our best. We'll try our best. We'll absolutely try our best. It would be even sicker if he doesn't scout at all. That would actually make me so sad. Like, it would make me so, so sad. Oh. Okay, I need to be careful to not accidentally build the uh, workers here. So I'm not even going to have it in my control group. Why isn't he scouting? The Reaper's going to arrive in 10, 15 seconds, by the way, if the game is even remotely normal. I think I could have made way more workers and pulled way more away. The scout comes at the two minute mark, usually in this particular matchup. So it's really, it's, it's different. It's different here. Uh, I should have probably built another hatch as well. Now that I think about it, I definitely should have built another hatch. Okay, well, he's not doing much of anything here. Um, hasn't quite hit me yet. Hit me with your best shot. God, I wish I could build some more OVs, but I can't. I wonder what he's thinking right now. Probably nothing yet. Probably nothing yet. Um, the problem is I can't really continue expanding right now without, you know, vulnerabling myself, making myself more vulnerable. Vulnerabilizing? That surely is a word that is real and not made up. Well, all words aren't made up, but you know what I'm saying. Um, <clears throat> he's just not scouting me. <sighs> you know how frustrating this is? This is the, the entire point is that I get scouted. That is literally that is it. You know, They're like ta-da, you get scouted. Should have had a drone on the other side of the map as well. I think. Should have had a drone on the other side of the map. Really wonder what he is up to right now. I really do wonder what he's up to. Should I take a third base here? I guess I have to kind of, because I'm, I'm I'm just gonna be stuck otherwise. We'll start spreading creep as well from this location. 
I mean, I have good income, honestly, for like how little workers I have over here. Okay, here come two Hellions. <laughs> There's no way. <laughs> I, if this works, I'll be shocked. All right, I'll, I'll be I'll be proper shocked. Um, because I, it, it it shouldn't be possible. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I guess he doesn't doesn't fall for the exact same trick twice. That is unfortunate for me. We're gonna get a roach warn. Um, I'll yeah, I, mean, I need a lair. I have 19 workers. Oh, I'm I'm very dead right now. Oh, I'm I'm, I'm very dead. Yeah. Wow. Not even just a little. Just like really freaking dead here. Here's, we're so dead. We're so dead actually. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, not every game can be a dub. Not every game can be a dub. That's the problem, you know? You start getting used to the dubs. That's the scariest part. That's it. Oh. I mean, he pushed it back. Oh, he's flying his barracks over? Oh, he's playing mech. playing serious mech here. Oh, he's playing some real serious mech. Um, let's see what we have. Oh, some overlords. I mean, we're still only on 21 workers, which is obviously a, a, a serious issue as well. Let's just move this into safety. So he can't, uh, can't bother us there. I wonder if I can just surround this right now. I, I, can. I can't surround it. I'm not sure if this was a good trade. Oh, this is definitely a good trade. No need to piss off, because that's not going to be a good trade anymore. Yeah, don't kill me, but Don't kill me. Come on, man. Okay, he cancelled it. Very nice. Um, I still have this base over here, which I guess I could just start saturating once more as well. That's exactly what we're going to do. We're going up to 27 workers. Now, I know I'm coping very hard, but it's starting to feel, you know, <laughs> maybe, maybe there's a future. I'm so glad, by the way, I built this road and I'm really getting a lot of use out of that so far already. Just the thought of there potentially being roaches is, is for forcing his, uh, his cyclones into my arms. That's really what's happening here. That's what. That's that's why he keeps attacking so aggressively into me, despite there not really being a reason for that at all. It's uh, important to note. Okay, important to note. Uh, we'll get a lair over here. And eventually, he's just gonna send something here, unless he doesn't pay attention to this base for like the next five minutes, which would also be nice for me. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I just died in your arms tonight. I can't cancel this. Oh. Gonna temporarily give up this base. Let's get a couple more drones here. I wonder where he actually is, though. So I'm just gonna pick up some reinforcements, which always works very well and never goes wrong. Now I come in with a flank. I mean, this really is as good as it could have ever gone, no? Like, I'm taking out. I'm, I'm literally winning the fights again and again and again. Um, so I'm building a queen here. Maybe that's a mistake because it gives him a warning that I'm once again mining that base. I'm also afraid of air units, although it seems like he isn't really going for any air units. We have 42 workers. I I'm I'm on serious scope right now. I'm actually on some serious, serious scope. Oh my god, he's, <laughs> he's on like 68 workers. He's it's that bad. That's his fifth base. That's just going down here. <laughs> Oh no, harsh. Ah, okay, yeah, this is. Ah, uh, we we can we can role play for a little bit longer, but I don't really think I want to. I don't, I don't think I want to role play any longer. I mean, we, yeah, we're super dead, just super dead. Can't get an infestation pit. That's about it, you know. It really is about it. Let's see what his production is like. These these factories, lots of them. Really, just loads of them. Yeah, let's just leave. He's like 95 supplies, 105. Yeah, he's double my workers. He sets one tank up over here. I'm dead. He sets one tank up over here. I'm dead. He builds a BC. I'm dead. He had a lot of money in the bank. Yeah, I didn't quite manage to do it. All right. I think that's just going to be it for me today. I'm happy with with the results. I, I don't want to touch it too much anymore. We had some good games at a good time. Uh, thanks all so much for watching. Hope you did enjoy. Uh, 
this episode a little bit of a throwback to the past uh, one of my first actually the first video that performed very well so it's always nice to uh, come back to it every once and again see uh, see the same challenge maybe again in two and a half years maybe at that point in starcraft 3 or starcraft 4 if blizzard hurries up with the development all right that's going to be it for me thank you all so much for watching i hope you did enjoy it if you did don't forget to hit the like button subscribe to the channel and see all of you next time for a new video bye bye